Hey everybody, it's Pastor Chris. I'm glad you're joining me this week for Premier Live Word of Encouragement. Um, I just hope that you are blessed and that each day uh, as I bring a different guest in this week, that you will be blessed by the things that they will share with you. Um, again, I want to talk about Vacation Bible School. I want to talk about bringing the children to you to, to, to Jesus. I want to introduce you to Kristen from our school and Bill, Bill Hosier. And I even want to introduce you to uh, potentially Nathan this week from BCMT, the college director for both uh, both Maryland and Delaware. And I might even have a surprise guest visit from Macy Joy. So if you're watching this this week or over the next week, uh, even into the, the following week, that is the schedule. We have uh, an all-star cast coming your way. So, hey, listen, stay safe, stay strong. God bless you. Remember, God loves you, and so do I. So I won't be on here live with you because I'll be doing this premiere, but I'll be checking in and seeing how things are going. So enjoy uh, the word of encouragement. God bless you. <laughs> that did not work like it was. Working? Okay. Hi, my name's Macy. For those of you who don't know, but it was also just in my intro, which I am pretty proud of because I put that together. And uh, if you know me, I'm not that technologically savvy. So, hello. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you enjoy this one-way conversation of me to you. Okay, so I'm on my dad's woe today, word of encouragement, because I'm supposed to tell you guys what I do around the church and give you a little encouraging message during this time. So, let's see. I am one of the receptionists at Lexington Park Baptist Church. I work in the afternoons, so if you come into the building when it opens back up, you will see me sitting at the front desk. Or, if you call, I will answer the phone, and I will answer all of your questions to the best of my ability. Now, since we're all working from home right now, I kind of can't answer the phone at church or greet you when you come in, because you're not supposed to be there. Please don't come into the church. So, I call half of you. That is one of the things that I do right now while I'm working from home. And to be quite honest, it kind of freaks me out, and I really don't like doing it. Not that I don't like you guys, I just... Call, calling you and like barging into your day kind of makes me nervous so thank you to um most of you who have said that I can just text you but if you ever want me to call you I will do that because I'm here to serve my church family because I love you all dearly even though I don't like calling you because it scares me <laughs> okay so okay some of the other things I do um let's see Oh, I draw promotional video, uh, no, 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 promotional videos. I draw promotional images for my dad because I draw on my, on my laptop. So if you've seen the woe drawing of my father, which you should have seen today, I did that. If you see the um, promotional for digital community groups, those are on Monday nights, by the way, and don't miss them because they are great. Um, I drew that too, and I've also drawn one for uh, worship on Wednesday. By the time this airs, I don't know if you'll have seen that, but I drew that one too. Um, I really like doing that, so I kind of have like a side business of art too. I draw digital portraits, and I really like doing that. Shout out to my business. Uh, don't have a name for it yet, but if you want to order a portrait, let me know. <laughs> Okay, um, so now, uh, something encouraging. Okay, so when all this started, when we got put in quarantine, my initial thought was Psalm 23. And you might be wondering why, like, why Psalm 23, Macy? Well, I'll tell you. So I thought of Psalm 23 because I thought of Psalm 23, verse 2, where it says that, God leads us, or yeah, he leads us by still waters and he makes us lie down in green pastures. I focused on the, he makes us lie down in green pastures. That was my initial thought and my initial go-to verse when all this started happening. And I, so it got me thinking because some Bible translations say he makes us lie down in green pastures and others say he lets us. So I held a little poll on my Instagram page. I only had eight people answer me out of like, 
a lot. But anyway, um, out of those eight people, the most of them said that their Bible says make, and only a few people said that their Bible says let. So that got me thinking even more. So then I went and I actually did a word study and I went back to the original Greek or Hebrew. I don't remember what the Old Testament, whichever one the Old Testament is. I went back to that and I tried to find what Greek or Hebrew word they actually used uh, in that verse. And the word that they used um, means like uh, that you, sorry, I'm trying to, uh, it means that you can't, it means that you he's like actually making you and you don't like really have a choice you have to submit and he's exercise and like god is exercising his authority to make us lie down and give us rest and so that's really what i kind of felt like god is doing with us now um we're all stuck at home we most of us unless you're like an essential worker but we're all basically stuck at home we have a lot more time on our hands than we usually do so he's giving us this time to rest in him and get our energy back and everything and just pour and have him pour into us during this time so that he can fill us up again for those of us who are empty. Because I know, at least for me, I was so, so busy before all of this happened. I would um, wake up in the mornings at like 7 do my Bible study, leave the house by 9, 9.30 at the latest. I'd go to school and then I'd go straight to work. And then some, most of the times I'd have other things too. And I would not get home every day until at least like five o'clock. And some nights I wasn't getting home till like 9.30 or 10 o'clock at night. And I was exhausted because then I had to do homework. And so when all this happened, I was like, wow, I can really take the time to rest and, you know, draw closer to God and get my energy back and really just, you know, be replenished and rest, get that full rest that he wants us to have, you know, in him. Because you can like sleep in on a Saturday morning or something and, or take naps and that's your rest. But that, I don't think that's the rest he's really talking about here. He's talking about like resting in him so that he can restore you and fill you up so that you can then pour out into other people what he's poured into you. And then you just always have to go back to him though and rest. And, um, he really takes care of us that way. And I know none of us would really think that resting would come through a global pandemic and that's not really how we would want to rest but i mean god still he's sovereign and he's over all of this and he's exercising his authority even now and we need to submit and rest during this time like he he's um he's giving the world an opportunity to rest in him and to come to him and uh, we need to take that opportunity because a lot of people don't have the opportunity to you know sit at home for weeks on end uh, get to re get to know their family more, draw closer to the family, or if you're by yourself, you know, learn more things about yourself, draw closer to God, have God reveal things to you that you never thought, you know, you never thought of yourself, you know, it's just a time, I feel like this is a time of reflection, and we should really not necessarily take it lightly, like, obviously have fun at home and stuff, but, you know, use this time to its full advantage, um, so that's um, my encouragement. Rest in the Lord. Let him pour into you and let him fill you back up. That's what I've really been doing. And it's been um, kind of a really incredible experience. Uh, it's not been easy by any means because there's just been some things the Lord's teaching me. And, you know, it's always it's not always easy to learn um, what he wants, wants us to learn or listen to what he's telling us. But it's always better in the end. So I encourage you, take this time to rest in him. Open your Bible. Pray. Uh, just draw close to him and deepen your relationship with him because that is something you will not regret during this time. And you don't want to sit on the other side of this whole um pandemic and be like what did i do with all my time no you should draw near to god and um let him minister to you during this time uh so that's my word of encouragement um but now i guess um i'll end with a couple facts about me i don't know um so yes my name is macy as i said um and i am pastor chris's older oldest daughter I currently attend the College of Southern Maryland, CSM, that's my school, um, because, or, well, I'm pursuing my associate degree in business administration, and I like it, I really like business classes, but when I transferred to the University of Maryland in the fall of 2021, I will be pursuing my bachelor's degree in accounting, which I'm so, so excited about, I really, really like accounting, it's a lot of fun, so that's what I want to do, and my end career goal after college, and I'm planning to get my master's degree, after all that, um, my goal is to become a forensic accountant working for the FBI, and I actually had the most incredible opportunity a little while ago, I got to interview a forensic accountant at the Baltimore field office 
um, for a project, and it was so neat. It was so eye eye opening. I got to see what a forensic accountant actually does, so that was really neat. Um, yeah, that's a little bit about me, I guess. That's kind of the biggest thing about my life. Um, it's just school, I guess, which I do a lot of right now to keep my time filled, but also because I have school to do. But um, yeah, I think. That's about it. Oh, I like to tell jokes, as you learned a few Sundays ago or last Sunday. I don't know when he's going to air this, but you learned that I love jokes, which is absolutely true. And I'll end you with a joke. Okay, this is one of my favorites. Okay. Why do Norwegian Navy boats have barcodes on them? Okay, I'll tell you. So when they come back, they can Scandinavian. <laughs> I love cheesy jokes like that. Anyway, I hope you have a great day, and I hope that you are blessed from this, and uh, I hope that I can get back to seeing you all soon because I miss seeing all of you. So have a great day. Bye. Hi, Pastor Chris. So ever since the public school system shut down, our school also closed its doors. The teachers never stopped ministering to their families and students um, or imparting education, however. They are maintaining education through virtual classrooms now. Now, ordinarily during um, class time in the physical classroom, they would have this life cycle of a butterfly lesson in which they would raise caterpillars up to become butterflies, and they would be able to see the entire cycle. Um, but Given the virtual education, this teacher is teaching the students through videos and sharing updated progress about the caterpillars. The teachers share resources and they had mailed out packs of activities that the students can do that they otherwise would have done in the classroom. Um, well, this gives the parents opportunities to do those activities with their kids at home. And then they take pictures of their children doing the activities and post them in the virtual classroom. Children can then go through the pictures in the virtual classroom and see their friends doing the work that they are also doing. Here's a little boy doing the life cycle of a frog. Another little boy who did his letter O page, and he's been working on an alphabet book all year. These items next to him are all items that begin with the letter O, which they typically would have brought into the classroom to put on the letter shelf. Um, and here's a picture of some of the students and what they did in their neighborhood. Um, it looks like the Easter Bunny came through the neighborhood so their friends could see them and the fun that they're having and that they're at home and doing other activities as well. And another way that we're working to maintain consistency is we're still providing chapel on Tuesdays. Here's our pastor that typically prays with the children, talks with them, reads them a Bible story. Um, he does this through videos now as well, and his daughter helps him. And it's really neat because these chapel lessons are very engaging and relevant. They use his daughter's toys as a way to illustrate and make it interactive um, and engaging um, so that the students can really understand the Bible story. So. Every time something comes up in the story that involves another character or object, his daughter will put those into the scene. So it's almost like they're, they're watching an active version of the story being told. Really neat. Hey everybody, I hope you really enjoyed that interview. And I just pray that the Lord will bless you and you'll learn something from it. So anyway, I just want to say stay safe, stay strong. Until next time, this is Pastor Chris out. Remember, God loves you. So do I. God bless.